Dealer Fraud with Car Contracts, after the fact. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Today, I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth as we react to a dealer fraud situation that is so brazenly bad and so void of anything even relatively close to what you think of as ethics and business, you're going to be stunned by what you hear. As bad as we've known car dealers to be, and believe me, there are some humdinger stories out there, this story involving a specific case and other research into dealer fraud by a law firm will just blow your mind. And as our followers know, the Homework Guy channel prepares car buyers with tips for homework and research and things to do before the sale, specific car buying strategies, and what you need to be aware of to get a fair and honest car deal. In telling you about dealer fraud, we also are saying there's post-sale homework that you have to do as well. That's unfortunate, but it illustrates just how unscrupulous some car dealers can be. Before we start, let me share a statistic you're going to hear from attorney Dan Whitney on the video. 20%. Pay close attention to that. 20% of all car contracts that the Whitney Law Firm reviewed had dealer fraud and it happened after the sale when nobody was looking. For every five of you watching this video right now, one of you could be the victim of dealer fraud with your car contract. This is perhaps one of the ugliest examples of fraudulent and totally illegal underhanded behavior by a car dealer. Check it out. My name is Dan Whitney with the Whitney Law Firm in Towson, Maryland. If you've recently bought a car, I have a shocking statistic to share with you. One out of every five car contracts that I've reviewed contains forged signatures. You might say, well, how could that happen? I'll tell you exactly how it happens. After you buy either a new or a used car from the car dealership, you leave with your carbon copy. The dealership still has your documents and they've not yet sent them to the finance company. What I've- So remember, that you're driving away with a signed contract in your hand and that dealer still has to send that signed contract to a banker pay attention to what this dealer did found in 20 percent of the cases that i that i have reviewed is the signatures or forged on a new set of documents whereby some key financial term has changed it could be the interest rate is decreased and the amount financed increased um, or, or any other really limitless number of scenarios. Now, the wow. thing to pay attention here is every one of these changes are to the benefit of the dealer. Correct. And to the tune of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. But the point is the contracts are being forged to enable the dealership to make more money than they would have had they honored the original contract. Bingo. Here's a very good example of how this happened in a case that I recently handled. Uh, my two clients, a husband and a wife, went to go purchase a new car at a new car dealership. They signed the paperwork and went home. Um, they knew that their amount financed was approximately $28,000. What happened is they had the Credit Karma credit monitoring app, and that let them know whenever something new hit their credit report. Now, how important oh, is that? That is so smart. And I have one of these services that runs, and every time my credit score goes up, or you know anything happens, I get a, a ding right on you my phone an and alert. emails me instantly and I get to see what happened. So this customer got an alert that something happened and they were very wise to check into it and see what the heck it was. Well, here's what it was. In this instance, it told them that the new amount financed had hit from the car manufacturer, but instead of 28,000, it was several thousand higher. Wow. So right away, they knew that something had happened. They contacted my law firm and I received from them their original contract documents. After I got the original documents, we reached out to the finance company and got the documents that the dealership had sent to the finance company. And when we looked at them, that's where the uh, fraud became evident. Now, right here, what he just explained, every one of you car buyers out there should know, you can always contact the financer. So after you get your payment book in the mail, whether it's your bank or their bank or whose bank, it doesn't really matter. You can always ask to see the copy of the contract that the loan that they're uh, now giving you and, and you're paying on, you can ask for what that uh, contract actually is, a copy of it, and then compare it to the contract that you have that you signed when you left the dealership. What they had done on the set of documents set to the finance company was decreased the interest amount and increased the amount financed, whereby the monthly payments stayed the exact same, but the dealership was profiting approximately an extra $2,000 
that our clients, my clients, had no idea that they were now paying to the dealership. So what's really interesting is what happened. Just a quick moment here to dealers and car salesmen and finance officers that follow us here on the channel. Do you guys still want to hang on to that tired old worn out story where you say the homework guy is giving you guys a bad reputation? <laughs> we didn't say it. I mean, Dan Whitney <laughs> said it. <laughs> well, well, bingo. But all the things that are happening bad in the car business, is that the homework guy doing that stuff or is that you? And all we're doing is telling people about it. Yeah. And after we discovered this, I sent a letter to the car dealership and they actually wrote back and said it was like the Twilight Zone. They wrote back and said, your, your clients actually signed that second set of uh, forged documents. Well, listen to this. So the liar covers the lie with another lie. Not surprising. Yeah, not surprising at all. So you know this, guys. When dealers pull this kind of crap on you, and if this client had reached out to the dealer first instead of going to a law firm, the dealer would have just said, no, that's, that's, that's it. Deny, deny, deny. And, and nothing would have happened. Well, thankfully, they reached out to an attorney. Good move. We didn't forge it. They signed it. So I asked my clients, did this happen? And of course, they said, no, we signed one set. Here it is. You can see it. And I could tell they were telling the truth. Now, listen to this. Here's how you know this is 100% true. Ever think of a client who would sign two different copies of a car contract and then tell the dealer, send whichever one in, you know, benefits <laughs> you the most? No, not even close. <laughs> yeah, never ever would happen. So of course they're telling the truth. So in a situation like that, there's only one thing left to do, which is file a lawsuit, which we did. Bingo. Within 30 days, the case had settled. And here's what happened. We caught them stealing approximately $2,000. And in this case, it settled for about $17,500 each. So wow, here was, that was for the husband and that was for the wife. So it was a total of 35,000 bucks they got from a dealer who was attempting to steal two grand. Wow. So really good thing for you to look at your car contracts because going through the same thing, and I'd suggest you get a hold of your uh, an attorney locally if you discover this happens to be you, or get a hold of Dan Whitney here. His information uh, showed at the beginning. We'll show it again at the end. Um, huge kudos to the Whitney Law Firm for helping this client get this done. For the husband and for the wife. In that case, stealing $2,000 did not pay off for the dealership. But my guess is that it has, it has happened countless other times to countless other customers totally at this dealership true. and at, you know, probably all of them across the U.S. So if you've recently purchased this car and you have questions about, you know, did this happen to you? Were you a victim of car fraud and, and contract forgery? Take a look, guys. Contact the Whitney Law Firm. We offer free case evaluations. And if we do find the fraud, we will discuss what steps to take with you next. Good for you guys. All right. So we'll leave that on the screen for a bit so people can get that information. If this happens to be you and you're not sure who to contact locally, uh, there's the Whitney Law Firm uh, out of Maryland. And I'm sure they gladly take your case no matter where you happen to be uh, in the United States. So, Liz, what are some things that a car buyer could do uh, to prevent this from happening in the first place? You know... The best piece of advice is prevention. Why not just use your own bank every single time you do a car deal? We say that over and over again. Use your own bank. What's the likelihood that the dealer tries this with your credit union or your banker? <laughs> I think probably slim to none. <laughs> Very slim to none. So what's something else that they could do? So after you finish your car deal, I think your first piece of homework is to contact the lender directly, no matter who it was, and ask them to send you a copy of the contract that they received and compare the two of them and make sure they are exactly the same. Exactly, so you could wait till you get your payment book or you know, like wait a week to make sure that the paperwork's there yeah. and then contact the lender or you could call the dealer and say, hey, who's the lender? What's their contact information? But if you don't wanna do that, you can wait for the paperwork to show up uh, in your mailbox and, and of course, it's never too late to do this. So if you did a car deal two years ago, three years ago, right. five, six years ago, look at your car contract that you have for the vehicle and then call the lender that you've been making payments to and ask them to send you a copy of the car contract that they happen to have in, in house and look to see if fraud is committed. If there's any differences between the contract that the lender has and the contract that you have, you need to call your local attorney or attorney uh, Dan Whitney 
and get this resolved and make these suckers pay. Here, here's something that really bugs me about this. So this dealer paid $35,000 when they attempted to fraudulently collect two grand more off of this client. My thought is, and I'd love to hear what our viewers have to say, those suckers belong in jail. What do you think? Yeah, leave a comment down below. Yeah. All right. And so make sure, again, review your car contracts. Um, ask the lender to send you the contract. Review them. And if there's any discrepancies at all, get a hold of a local attorney or contact Mr. Dan Whitney. His contact information is here. He's out of uh, Maryland. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you if you're one of those people who got hosed by a car dealer with fraud after the sale. You know, there's one more thing you could do. Um, say you have an issue with a specific dealership in your area. If you share on social media and try to get the word out to other people, they can start looking at their contracts and see if there's a pattern with a given dealership. Yes. And you slap those guys on the wrist enough time and find them $35,000 enough times, they're going to have to change what they're doing. Share this video with people on your social media if you're not sure how to explain it. Sure. And have them check this out and look at their car contracts. All right. Anything else? I think that's a wrap. If you appreciate this reaction of the Whitney Law Firm's dealer fraud cases, consider giving us that great big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. And you can see them on the screen right now and they're linked down below in the description box. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on a website. But no problem if you can't do a tip. Liz, what's the best way for our viewers to help us out? Help us get the word out. Share these videos with your family and friends because you want them to be lucky just like you, right? So put this video up so others can see it. Encourage them to subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. We're here to represent car buyers and that's what we do. And do a fantastic job of it, don't <laughs> we? Put it in the comment section down below. If you think we do a fantastic job for car buyers. Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter here today with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.